these conversations are part of the 25th chapter of conversations and dialogues complete works of swami vivekananda volume 7 or talks with swami vivekananda available from the online store of advaita ashrama shop.advaitaashrama.org the links are given in the description below disciple to swami vivekananda really i do not understand why i don't get that idea of renouncing everything do make some way for that please swami ji the end and the means are all in your hands i can only stimulate them you have read so many scriptures and are serving and associating with such sadhus who have known brahman if even this does not bring the idea of renunciation then your life is in vain but it will not be altogether vain the effects of this will manifest in some way or other in time the disciple was much dejected and again said to swami ji sir i have come under your refuge do open the path of mukti for me that i may realize the truth in this body swami ji what fear is there always discriminate your body your house these jeevas and the world are all absolutely unreal like a dream always think that this body is only an inert instrument and the self contained purusha within is your real nature the adjunct of mind is his first and subtle covering then there is this body which is his gross outer covering the indivisible changeless self effulgent purusha is lying hidden under these delusive veils therefore your real nature is unknown to you the direction of the mind which always runs after the senses has to be turned within the mind has to be killed the body is but gross it dies and dissolves into the five elements but the bundle of mental impressions which is the mind does not die soon it remains for some time in seed form and then sprouts and grows in the form of a tree it takes on another physical body and goes the round of birth and death until self knowledge arises therefore i say by meditation and concentration and by the power of philosophical discrimination plunge this mind in the ocean of existence knowledge bliss absolute when the mind dies all limiting agents vanish and you are established in brahman disciple sir it is so difficult to direct this uncontrolled mind towards brahman swami ji is there anything difficult for the hero only men of faint hearts speak so mukti is easy of attainment only to the hero but not to cowards says the gita by renunciation and by practice is the mind brought under control o arjuna chapter 6 35th shloka the chitta or mind stuff is like a transparent lake and the waves which rise in it by the impact of sense impressions constitute manas or the mind therefore the mind consists of a succession of thought waves from these mental waves arises desire then that desire transforms itself into will and works through its gross instrument the body again as work is endless so its fruits are also endless hence the mind is always being tossed by countless myriads of waves the fruits of work this mind has to be divested of all modifications vrittis and reconverted into the transparent lake so that there remains not a single wave of modification in it then will brahman manifest itself 
the scriptures give a glimpse of this state in such passages as then all the knots of the heart are cut asunder etc do you understand disciple yes sir but meditation must base itself on some object swami ji you yourself will be the object of your meditation think and meditate that you are the omnipresent atman i am neither the body nor the mind nor the buddhi determinative faculty neither the gross nor the subtle body by this process of elimination emerges your mind in the transcendent knowledge which is your real nature kill the mind by thus plunging it repeatedly in this then only you will realize the essence of intelligence or be established in your real nature knower and known meditator and the object meditated upon will then become one and the cessation of all phenomenal superimpositions will follow this is styled in the shastras as the transcendence of the triad of relative knowledge triputi bheda there is no relative or conditioned knowledge in this state when the atman is the only knower by what means can you possibly know it the atman is knowledge the atman is intelligence the atman is sachidananda it is through the inscrutable power of maya which cannot be indicated as either existence or non existence that the relative consciousness has come upon the jiva who is none other than brahman this is generally known as the conscious state and the state in which this duality of relative existence becomes one in the pure brahman is called in the scriptures the super conscious state and described in such words as it is like an ocean perfectly at rest and without a name viveka chudamani 410 swami ji spoke these words as if from the profound depths of his realization of brahman swami ji all philosophy and scriptures have come from the plane of relative knowledge of subject and object but no thought or language of the human mind can fully express the reality which lies beyond the plane of relative knowledge science philosophy etc are only partial truths so they can never be the adequate channels of expression for the transcendent reality hence viewed from the transcendent standpoint everything appears to be unreal religious creeds and works i and thou and the universe everything is unreal then only it is perceived i am the only reality i am the all pervading atman and i am the proof of my own existence where is the room for a separate proof to establish the reality of my existence i am as the scriptures say always known to myself as the eternal subject viveka chudamani 409 i have seen that state realized it you also see and realize it and preach this truth of brahman to all then only will you attain to peace while speaking these words swami ji's face wore a serious expression and he was lost in thought after some time he continued realize in your own life this knowledge of brahman which comprehends all theories and is the rationale of all truths and preach it to the world this will conduce to your own good and the good of others as well i have told you today the essence of all truths there is nothing higher than this these conversations are part of the 25th chapter of conversations and dialogues complete works of swami vivekananda volume 7 or talks with swami vivekananda available 
from the online store of Advaita Ashrama shop.advaitaashrama.org the links are given in the description below